Hey y'all, it's Evan here at Eldorado RV. Let's go check out this 2023 Sunseeker 2550DS. I got it running because it's chilly and I want to show you that slide closed and open. We got the new V8, it's not the V10 anymore. Being a Sunseeker, we got Telwig sway control. Now this is the LE, so it comes with the standard shocks. Nice wheels. Nice front cap, totally seamless up until it meets with the roof. We got a big awning, some exterior speakers. And this guy is not super long. It's like 27-ish feet, a little over 27 feet total length. That's furnace over here. We got propane. We got storage. Rotocast bins so you can wash them out. Dual rears. Water heater. Back here we got a pass-through. Pretty small, not much of a pass-through to be honest. You can kind of get some like chairs up there, what have you. Slide controller. Back here we got your black tank flush and your city water, or and your potable fill. Got a backup camera and side cameras on this bad boy. 7,500 pound towing capacity on the new models. And this one, we equipped with the auto leveling. You can kind of see it over there. I'm gonna run you through this side real quick before we head inside. Pass through over here. I gotta climb this mountain of freaking snow. Shore power, Furion TV hookup. Got a security light out here. Look at that sky. It's nice out here. Schwintech slide with the slide topper. Storage under the dinette. Or sorry, under the couch. You can access this from inside as well. We got storage down here. And that's your generator right there. Now let's zip on inside here. Get me out of this cold. Wow, look at that. Alberta sunsets, I tell ya. All right. Side view again. Let's rip inside here. What do we got? We got a step underneath this. Batteries, standard with two six volt batteries. In here, we got a little safe. So this door pops off and you open it up and I don't have the key for the safe, but you open that up and you can put like car keys in there, cash, little bits and bobs. Battery disconnect over here. We got solar on the roof, so you get a solar controller right here. Got your awning control as well as exterior lights. Boom. And this guy right here, that is your auto level control. Let's climb up in, stomp my shoes off here. Here's a good look at that chassis. So being the LE, we get the standard cloth seats, no swivel. You can get the classic and the classic means you get the swivel seats in a floor plan like this though the driver's seat will never swivel because the dinette the dinette's in the way down here cup holder is the usual it's nice and quiet i like the new wheel we got up here got your side and rear view camera access you can see under that left slide you can see the door on the right down here we got your infotainment And above, we got this bunk. Storage up here with a nice USB back there. Same sitch back there. Nice, big, spacious. And this guy just lifts up. Wow. Get that out of your way. And goes right out of the way. Now, Sunseeker. Vacuum bonded laminated fiberglass sidewalls. Roof and floor with foam block insulation. We also have something in this called the Arctic Pack. So you flip that on and if it's below, I think it's about 40 degrees Fahrenheit. If it's below that, the uh, tank heaters will turn on. Got your gen control up here. All the other goodies there. Slide control, some storage. Nice soft clothes there. 
little bit more storage up there, as well as uh, TV power and hookups. Let me just squeeze. Okay. Now here we've got the 12 volt fridge. Good size fridge and freezer. Gets nice and cold and you get a flip lock so you don't have to mess around with the screws or anything. You just flip that bad boy over. Underneath the fridge, nice big drawer, five piece drawers, 75 pound roller ball drawer glides. On this side, some nice underslide lighting, MCD roller shades. Nice vinyl leatherette, drawers under here. This is the front piece that covers all this so that you can block the cab out when you wanna shut out the outside world. And those are soft closed drawers as well. Anyways, boom, MCD roller shades. Just single layer in this, but they're really, really nice. Tinted windows as well. Got some lighting there, we got USB and power, a net there, six of these, the whole way down the slide. Seat belts, two, four, and six seat belts. Dinette goes into a bed, this guy is a jackknife, goes into a bed, you flip this up out of the way, and pull that down. Boom, bed. And this is what I was talking about. You can get to that outside storage from back here. Whoa, it's the light. All right. Now, nice wardrobe here. This will this would be probably a wardrobe or second like pantry, just good storage right here. Nice deep drawers. And then on this side, we got your kitchen, 12 volt TV. That's also your radio. Everything's right in there behind it. A massive boatload of storage, air conditioner above me, pull down spray faucet. Again, tons of storage in this thing. I mean, that's what makes this floor plan so good is despite being short, oh, little bits and bobs, goodies. Despite being short, uh, overall, you don't really sacri sacrifice on the storage. I mean, just look at this. What? That is a ton of storage. Under the sink. Stainless steel sink. Same under cabinet lighting. Looks really good in here. Like, it's nice and warm. I really appreciate that about Sunseeker. It's not all white LEDs. Big storage in here that's connected. It's uh, about like a seven inch cabinet there or shelf there. So you're not gonna be putting your plates up top, but good amount of space. No oven, but we've got a convection microwave, three burner stove. Another quick look around the inside here. And let's talk about this. So yeah, we got a campsite bed slide. Really nice. You do have an accordion blind uh, that will go to there and it'll close off the bedroom. You see the track in the ceiling up there. And now let's open this up. And then this just slides back like so. And you gotta make up your bed a little bit. You gotta make it look nice, but you get the idea. We got cabinets back there, pull down shade. A little cubby and this mattress is surprisingly comfortable once you get it flat and situated you can't really tell that the uh, the split is there beds fully walk around got your thermostat right here so you can't walk around the bed it's kind of like an inching sort of scenario you got a little table down there roller shade Whoop. i like these valences because they're cloth so if you bump into them you're not gonna like break them it's kind of nice Okay, over here, wardrobe, true wardrobe for 
hanging. Plenty of space. Nice solid latches. So that's your bedroom with the slide open. And then you just zip it back in and it will automatically come back up. Whoops, I didn't latch this properly. You hold that for a couple seconds, make sure it's all the way in, and then you just, boom, slide closed. TV hookups over there. Nice bathroom medicine cabinet. Good sink with some storage and some power there. Porcelain foot flush toilet. We got lights and there is a fan in here. Let me give this a yank. Good size medicine cabinet. I like the taller shelf here. I find that sometimes they're just too close together. They put too many shelves in and then you can't put taller stuff in there. It's a shower. We got a reinforced shower floor in here. So you can get up on it and you can kind of wiggle around. It's super solid. You can't see that because, well, you're staring at a wall. This is the view from the shower. See if I can kind of turn it around. This is the view in the shower. Got some nooks and crannies. This is about eye level if you're 5'10". So, but you do have plenty of headroom here. Like there's another quite a bit, quite a bit more headroom there. Plus you get the skylight as well. So taller people, you're gonna have a good time in that shower. It's nice and tall. And I love these retractable. What? Okay. Crazy. Hold and press in. Oh, there you go. Like so. We got a fantastic fan up here. It's really nice in here. This is a super popular floor plan and one of my personal favorites just because you, get, you squeeze everything that you need, you know, seating, sleeping space, storage, into a package that isn't 31, 32, 33 feet long. So you can get to most places and no one has to walk through your bedroom to use the bathroom. Your bathroom isn't split in half. So really, really love this floor plan. Let's have one more look outside. All right, that about does it. Thank you all very much for watching. I'll see you in the next one.